I hope everyone is feeling easy. Please drink some water. Those of you who would like to share your experiences, can go ahead. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Yes, please. Ekta ji. Hi, ma'am. So, uh, thank you so much for a lovely meditation. Though for some reason, I went into a trance and I could not hear a word at times. But uh, when the only thing what I experienced throughout the whole was, I felt little heaviness or pain near the neck and the shoulders. And when you said that uh, the Shiva and Shakti are in your, you know, right in the heart, I felt something was getting installed there. I mean, I could feel a kind of, uh, a crystal wali feel nahi hoti jo, uh, I don't know how to explain something. There's a light and something is getting yeah, installed. Your there. soul was taking a crystalline form. I'm very happy. So it was right here at the heart. And I can still feel a ball. <laughs> I don't know why, but I can feel a ball which is there, which is which has got installed today. It was more like an attunement for me, I felt, rather than a transmission. And I can feel a lot of energy on my third eye here, where I put in the, you know, this place. I can feel a lot of energy, but definitely this was paining like crazy that time. So this pain, okay, is it easy now? Or yeah, is it... much better, but I think it will go away soon. Usually now. my healing energies are heavy. Mm -hmm. okay? uh, they will rapidly do a lot of changes and shifts inside of you, but it will not stay long for a very long time. Okay, so just relax. And uh, if this continues, I'm available on the group to help you, but it will not usually. Continue. And specifically on the right side, more on the right side than the left side. <laughs> So your right side is your masculine energy. Okay. Yeah, yeah true. And uh, it's just that I can feel something is there in my heart. You know, something like installation has happened. <laughs> yeah, that happens. In coming days, you will definitely know and see what has come your way. Okay. <laughs> so it was just that most of the time I couldn't hear, but then maybe I went into the trance and I saw only right from the I could only see white light, golden light. That's it. Throughout the meditation, I could see, and there were times when I could see uh, Shivji ka ketana face. I mean, it just came in front of me and it went away. More than Shakti, it was more of Shivji today. Maybe the energies are high. That's why. Yes. But yeah, I mean, it was more like uh, something installing inside pain here, white and golden light throughout, and. Lot I'm very of happy to hear you most of the time. The side profile, front profile, every profile I could see him so many times. It was just for a speck of a second, and again he would appear. Again, speck of a second, and he would appear at any point of time. Wow. So yeah. So this is my you for sharing. Thank you. I'm I'm very happy to know it's so pleasing. Thank you so much. Kalyani ji. It was wonderful. I could see the white light for some time, but then halfway through, there was a lot of warmth. In fact, I was starting to perspire. So I just wanted to ask you whether that is normal. Absolutely. I told you at the beginning of this that please drink a lot of water. For exactly. I did. Reason that, yeah, these energies could be very warm. Yes. Okay. So this could repeat every day that I yes. uh, see the, okay, I do it, the recording, it could repeat. Okay. Yes. yes okay. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, you so that. much. Thank, Thank you. you. So those of you who asked me whether uh, uh, you came in late, you will receive the recording, whether you need to perform Moolabandh every time you want to do this, yes. For how much ever long you can. Shankarji? Um, hello, uh, hi Siddhi, hi. once again, I mean, um, again, it was a good experience, you know, I'm coming here for the second time. Um, 
so i have a specific uh, i had a specific experience and when when, when the transmission started mm -hmm. uh, it was here on the on my left hand left side it was somebody was hammering kind of like okay it was not paining you know when somebody hammers you very slightly uh, and when it was getting over on the verge of getting over it was on the right side so this was something I, I never experienced uh, even in the past. So what it could be? What do you think? Uh, possibilities. Uh, one for sure, that's not a possibility. This is a surety that when the energies flow inside of you, they create uh, openings. They unclog certain other aspects that could be. So if you are an overthinker and have a lot of clogging around here, that be one of the things that may have happened. Other things are, yes, when your Kundalini rises, your different side of energies connect with different sides of hemispheres of your brain. And when you may have also experienced some kind of rise in your Kundalini, that may have created some kind of movement around here as well. So think, this is the I second. Think, yeah. I think, uh, I think you have hit the nail because... Uh, that was my second experience, experience, which I was in a dilemma whether I should share it or not. Uh, but you spoke about Kundalini and, uh, you know, uh, I did feel a kind of sensation uh, when you told me to do the Mula Bandha with the anus and all. And uh, it's, it's, it's strange, you know, when I started thinking of uh, the past and, you know, uh, with my ex-wife or uh, my ex-relationships, the picture came in front of me and uh, it was strange. And it was quite warm uh, down there. And uh, uh, I could, but I was quite feeling shy to say this, but, you know, but you already connected, right? You spoke about yeah. Kundalini and hence I thought I should speak. Uh, so, yeah. This will ease out. So something about this, had to be going out of your system. And it's a great time to let it go. Maybe you, you didn't even know it existed inside of you. So. Yeah. yeah I, 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 yeah. yeah, I did have thoughts, you know, sometimes. But yeah, that thing which you said, you know, it, it here and the end, it was like, it was, you know, kind of. So maybe what you said resonates. So yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Once Thank again. you. Pujaji? Hello, ma'am. Hello. My life is really difficult. I have a very weird thing to do with my eyes. After that, I started to say something. I had a voice that I had. There were two voices. One of you, one of you, one of my friends. I was talking about the voice of the voice. So, I had a बंद कर लिया दोबारा सुनने के लिए कि मुझे वही आवाज आ रही है बट मैं आंख बंद कर जितना टाइम आंख बंद किया है वो उतने टाइम वो दूसरी आवाज साथ में थी सी आई वाज प्लेइंग सम बैकग्राउंड व्हिच वाज चैंटिंग ऑफ ओम इट वाज अच्छा आई जस्ट वांटेड टू नो दैट इट वाज समथिंग आई विल स्कैन ऑन दिस एंड कम बैक या वो वो दोबारा से रिपीट हो रहा था और कई बार कंफ्यूजन क्रिएट हो रहा था बट समझ में नहीं आ रहा था उसको कैसे Sure. So what I'll, oh, I will make sure next time you don't have this and I will make sure that you're protected. We should connect on this separately. Yeah. We'll speak on this later. Thank you. Binduji. Unmute. Thank you, ma'am, so much Thank for you. a wonderful, wonderful session. I think I don't have words for it. Uh, very powerful. They even. Yeah. I... Bye. Sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, please go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I felt too much uh, heaviness on my both the shoulder, most on the left side. Mm -hmm. I feel like I feel heaviness. Is and it cleared out now? 
little bit and in between my right hand was paining a lot and uh, uh, as you said like i can see the shiva uh, like shape of it and different different uh, variation like and for a freak of second it comes and goes out i can see that way and uh, even i can see ma kali also so what does it connect literally <laughs> This energy is likely to be spotted with me, Shiva, Shakti, Mahakali, dragons. So, because I invoke the presence of my guides, and they are my guides. So, likely, possibly, and they are your guides as well. Yes, <laughs> and your wonderful Thank you so much from bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you so much for giving me your feedback. I hope all of you are feeling easy and very soon a couple of new transmissions are also coming in which include Goddess Mahalakshmi transmission. One of you called me up very specifically to design uh, Goddess Matangi transmission that is also going to be coming in very very soon and few other workshops uh, one of which well, today I received a suggestion as to Green Tara workshop that is also going to be coming in very, very soon. So thank you, first of all, for giving me so many suggestions along with your feedback that are very, very important for me. And I make sure that all of us work on your suggestions and create content all the time that is given out on our YouTube channel, that is given out as learning, that is given out as suggestions and some other uh, things that come out as group sessions and our meet and greet sessions or our celestial Sunday sessions. So please, my request today again is to come back with the suggestions that you are looking out for. And if you also feel that these sessions could help any one of your friends, family members to empower their lives, get them. We are soon going to be also having a world healing session where we all come together and simply heal planet for something. And that is a part of our donation, our journey as healers together. So my request to you is also join me in that. Those of you who are not part of our group, I will send you links so that you can join these. Yes, Shankarji. Um, Siddhi, just one last question, a quick one. Um, do you uh, send a distance Reiki healing or something like that? Yes, yes, absolutely. And I'll ask Sonam about that. So, sure. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for this suggestion. Yes, we do have third eye activation workshop and sessions also. So, we will give you details about that. Someone who just sent Vicky Ji. Thank you so much for your suggestion. This was indeed very prompt and very thankful for that. Yes, there will be a Ma Mahakali transmission very, very soon. And her workshop also very, very soon. So thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yes, those of you who would want to ask and stay back. Yeah. Ekta ji, I see your hand raised. Yeah. Ma'am, there's one confusion I'm having. I paid for Mahakali workshop i guess which is on 16th and 17th i think yeah and is it a transmission or a workshop this is where the confusion is arising till now because i, I will have it checked and come back to you don't worry okay. 16th is the date for workshop for sure because i want that attunement wala thing for mahakali yes, yes. so i'm yes. getting attracted to her also <laughs> it's a wonderful so i yeah. Part of, uh, I think Hinalji spoke to me also. So I just wanted to confirm about that because, uh, uh, and I think she must have spoken to you regarding a little earlier. Don't worry. If it is not that, we will convert into that and help you with that. So do not worry about that. Just give us time till tomorrow when she comes in, we'll check and inform oh. you. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. And yeah, it is a very beautiful experience. You've chosen a very beautiful workshop. Some of the I would people... love to because for some odd reason I've been getting connected to our own gods and goddesses. I'm a Reiki grandmaster already and I've done yeah. a lot of type of Reikis also which I use yeah. in my healings when I give healings to others. Yeah. But getting connected to our own Shivji and you know 
the matas and someone getting really attracted these are our true connections yes yeah yes. i'm getting attracted to I those get. Ten goddesses, which is the Mahavidya ka jo hai, that yeah. also dying to do that soon. If you have that course, let me know. Yeah, yeah. I so, do have a Humkara with Lean uh, for the energy of goddess Mahakali and Mabaglamukhi, and currently also designing something around the Samhavidya. So it will take some time for the Samhavidya, but these are the workshops currently already planned and in process. So Mahakali, I've already done the energy exchange. So I'm yeah. looking forward for that. <laughs> yeah. Sure. So I spoke to Hinalji. So I think I'll connect with you once again tomorrow. Yeah. If, I, if sure. it is possible to connect with you on a personal level also, if possible. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Pallavi ji. So can we say that today was kind of an attunement only? This we can't thing. attune anyone, but we can. We have, we can yeah. like, See, the energy uh, of dragons when given birth uh, is like that. You feel like a connection building up and it will stay with you and last with you for a very, very long time. And some of you will be able to invoke this energy over and over. And I've got this feedback uh, from before that, uh, you know, this was transmission, but it didn't feel like but only But we a can't attune others, but we can receive the energy yeah, as and yeah, when we want. Yeah. Uh, I've also got this one more feed because this, these are healing sessions and I send healing energies because only the energy was very days. similar to attunement which I yeah. have received yeah. in past yeah. so yeah so that's what I was saying that my healing energies usually flow out that way okay, okay. so I'm looking forward for more attunements from your end for sure so welcome in the yeah. next class that's coming in is Goddess Mahakali if you'd like to experience that I am already attuned to Mahakali energy. So Wonderful. I will. I'm sure Ma'am, you... please plan Reiki classes late in the evening yeah. after 18 because in afternoon, not possible. I have a small kid. Sure. sure. After okay. 18, like my son exams are going. So <laughs> I hope we you will. understand. For sure. Thank you for this. Yes, we will. It's not possible. No, the bus timing and your class time is same. So I understand. Not... Yeah, yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anantika, Anantika, is that the right way to say your name? Can you please unmute yourself? Uh, you'll need to unmute yourself. I felt very relieved during the whole transmission and my thighs also pained. First, I had the vision of God Mahakali, then Shivi, and then God Humavati. What, is, what, what does this mean, ma'am? Uh, it simply means their presence and the flow of energy. The reason why sometimes certain body parts pain is because um, the energies are trying to flow through and create the high vibration where we had nurtured all the low vibes. So it, it is kind of difficult for our bio system to adopt to the new energy. And when it is just flowing like a flood inside of you. So yes, uh, it sometimes creates pain, but it will ease. And because these were also invoked as spirit guides. And so Lord Vasuki is spirit guide of Celestial Dragon's healing system. Um, that we work with. So, that what is Mahakali is my spirit guide. Shivji. So, no, their presence will be seen. They were in Bo. Their presence was in Bo for this transmission. So, they connected with the energies. Yeah. Mama, Kali, also my spirit guides. Yeah. Yeah, wonderful. So, sensing them. So, from time to time, when you open up to receive healing energies, you will sense them. Okay. All right. So this, uh, I believe there is no question unanswered. Wishing you all a very happy Mahashivratri and praying for all of you and taking your leave. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you all around. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. Thank you. See you.